Hello everyone, this is Deepak Bari. Welcome to this video. In this video, we will learning about the R. So let's open this Cisco Packet Tracer. And we will use some routers and switches. But mainly we will work on the router. So let's take to a double one series router. We will take two routers like that and let's take another router and a switch okay so in our case we are using the 2950t let's see and a laptop or the end device any kind of end device so basically what is ARP? ARP is nothing but a protocol which gives a request back to the router suppose if the router knows the destination router ip address but it does not know the mac address of the router so it will broadcast an arp and then the requested router will reply with that mac address with the neighbor router so we will see how these things works in the scenario and what are the things of ARP table like that so every router contains the ARP table this is the table which is mapped with the IP address and their MAC addresses the media access control addresses so let's do this okay so for this scenario or this topology we are using this couple straight through for connecting these routers with fast ethernet cables and Suppose this is for the our local area network router with the boundary router and for this router we will use the serial cable ok so first of all we need to add some interfaces so just expand this windows and this is the virtual switch means the power switch of the router so just power off this router before adding the interface it is very important otherwise it will not work for this simulation then use the wc 2t so or it is not needed the 2t just use the 1t and again the restart this power now close this window for the 2 double one series also just power off the switch then wc one t interface just implement on any kind of slot here then power on then close it from here then give an serial interface suppose this is connected with the wide area network or the router far from here and as we know the router connected with the first ethernet or gigabit ethernet with the switch by using the coupled spread through cable and this can uh, connect with first ethernet zero okay so basically what we need here for giving a label would be quit okay so let's give a label so press n and give some ip address so for this interface we will use suppose 192.168.100.1 slash 24 for class C default submit mask and 100.2 slash 24 for this interface and I don't think so this is needed for this interface okay so let's leave for this network okay so we will just check about the app table and we'll configure the IP addresses on each interfaces. So let's open the router interface of the CLA tab. Go to the CLA tab, expand this window. Okay, so the dialog is appearing, so give it no. We will do it manually. So follow the following commands if enable to enabling the configuration mode or the user exit mode then give configure terminal 
for the global configuration mode and now we will select the first ethernet 0 slash 0 by giving this command interface first ethernet 0 slash 0 and give the IP address 192 and 168 100.1 and the default subnet mask of 24 CDR is 255 255.255.0 then hit down the enter and give this command and and it will redirect to the user exec mode again now for showing the ARP table this is the command show ARP and it will give the ARP table so it is not showing any kind of ARP table there now let's say show IP interface brief so briefly we will see about the interface so the first ethernet 0 slash 0 which we have assigned the IP addresses it is administratively done which we need to just administratively up in its state so enabling this port by means we need to going to there for that interface mode so that again configure terminal and then select the interface first ethernet 0 slash 0 and then give this command no shutdown for enabling the port so as we can see line 5 changed interface state to up then give the end command then again so IP interface brief now this interface looks good and the status is up that means administratively the port is up and we will see the ARP table right now show ARP so nothing to do it okay so let's close this window and open the second router the router 1 and just open the CLI tab give no then enable configure the terminal then interface first ethernet 0 slash 0 and it will assign IP address IP address 192.168.100.2 then the subnet mask value then simply give the no shutdown command here so we won't need to enter this mode again here so just give the end key and give show ARP so as we can see it just showing to this port whatever we have enabled just right now and the hardware address for this router along with the local IP address which is connected 192.168.100.2 okay now let's check with the router 0 it should also show something there and show or okay let me expand it okay, now it's good so the protocol it's showing the internet and IP address 192.168.101 and the hardware address as I was said the app table it contains the IP address and the hardware address that is the MAC address or media access control address so this is the mapping of IP address and hardware address and it builds the ARP table in router so we, we did not need or this router did not need the hardware address and don't know about the hardware address of this neighbor router so what we need to, to do just ping with the another router that is 192.168.100.2 and obviously it should ping because the same network with same submit mask it should be ping so let's enter so the response 
was approximately yeah success rate is 80 percent because the first packet will dropped because of r as we already know about that so now let's give the command again show arp now in this time you can see the difference between this table and this table for this table we have just uh, one row for the single row for this interface which is connected with this router but for now when we done the ping test with the second router or the destination router which is the 100.2 and it also revert back with the hardware address to this router that means the ARP table entry has the MAC address of this router for the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 interface so that means whatever we are giving the IP address on the specific ports so the all the specific ports has its own hardware addresses so whenever you are pinging with the another device with router or any kind of network devices to each other so it just sends their ARP to the source and the destination between them so now let's enable these ports and see what happens okay so just close this router interface and now let's open this CLI tab if we try to use this command for now so this one okay let me expand it yeah it has also the router one hardware address because we have pinged to each other so the, when this router pings to this so the router one just replies to hey i have the mac address so which you don't know and uh, this will just add the router mac address to their app table okay now let's uh, assign some ip address in this real interfaces also so and we are not just going to assigning the any kind of routing protocol or the static routing for pinging to each other so just we are just focusing on the ARP and ARP entries so just give the command and before giving the command so let's take a note here suppose this does the 1 slash 24 and this has 10.1.1.2 slash 24 in this case and okay serial 0 slash 0 slash this will get this one and this will get this one okay that's it and for this interface the first ethernet 0 slash 0 we will give okay something else different than suppose 10.1 and uh, this laptop will get 10.2 192 168 10.2 slash 24 okay now let's start from the router one okay if you if you want to see this serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 that means it's font label so you can enable it from the preferences and uh, just check this always show port labels in logical workspace you can see the effect right so whenever you need to show these ports for understanding purposes so just enable it it's a good idea now close this one okay just expand it okay now let's say excuse me configure terminal and now we need to enable the serial interface so select the serial interface interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 then assign the IP address 10 dot excuse me 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 and the classy IP address actually it doesn't make sense the giving the classy IP address with the class C subnet mask 
actually this is what we say it's calling the subnetter supernet so we are not going to the deeply of the subnetter supernetting here so just for max sensing we are giving the ip address which can be subnetted into the class c ranges so we are giving the slash 24 so it will support only the class c ip address ranges suppose the maximum to, would be 254 the host maximum host to be so let's go further it then give the no shutdown as usual for enabling the port shutdown for disabling the port okay no shutdown so we already have noticed the about the clock so we need to give the clock rate for the dc and this dta so in this case we are using 72000 okay then exit from this mode exit from this mode then what about if we show the R table so no entry and now any kind of R entry of new now let's say show interface brief so whatever we have the interface it will give the brief overview okay i forgot to give this ip command so this all the interfaces which has okay first ethernet 0 slash 0 which we have already enabled and 0 0 slash 0 slash 0 which is showing the down so we need to rectify why it is showing the down for now okay so before going ahead so let's doing something in this router and we will rectify it again looks good for now just close this window and open the next router which is the router 2 then select no enable configure terminal then interface then we are going to enabling the serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 first then we will cover with first ethernet then give the ip address 10.1.1.2 okay then give this command finally no shutdown now as you can see the previous router has also the port enabled because this router when this router enabled so this router will be enabled and they will just communicate to with each other by using this line protocol so that's not the big deal now just give the end key and give the show r for this route only and because there is no entries for this router and this is not pinging by to each other so we need to enable this fast ethernet interface also so give the first ethernet So interface first ethernet 0 slash 0 and which is the IP address IP address 192.168.10.1 and the class C default subnet mask and now finally we got to go to enabling this port so just give this command no shutdown again and now give this command end Now let's see the R table again show R. Now as you can see it just showing about the 10.1 interface and not showing on the serial interface of this both router. So what we need here we need just a simply a ping to the another router request. So let's ping to another router from this device okay ping 10.1.1.1. So success rate is 100% because we already know about that. So let's say show up. And now if we assign an IP address when is this desktop. So let's say 192.168.10.2 and the default gateway would be the router interface. First pass is 0 slash 1 this one. So just close this window. 
and make a big test from this command from this window suppose give a ping 192 168 10.1 so it's just replying from 10.1 etc now let's check the again about the ARP table show up now we have two entries of this router and this laptop entries this is router has the hardware address of 00 d0 etc and uh, the hardware address and the ip address of this laptop is 192.168.10.0 and along with the address now close this window and let's check about this router and let's check how many ARP entries is there in this router then give this command again show ARP so for now we have only the two ARP entries the 192, 168, 100.1 and 100.2 if you ping this router from here to there 10.1.1.2 then a success rate of 100% now let's say again the ARP entries it's just only the two because of this wheel cable so that's why this was the reason which i am using the fast ethernet cable here just because of making it local and as we have known here it is not showing any kind of serial interfaces which is connected with this router and with this and we are already know because of we did not we did not put any kind of protocol here so the messages will be failed if we ping from here to there so definitely this will be failed because there is no IP address there but it will be success and it also will be success because they are belonging to the same network with the same broadcast domain or the subnet mask etc so now let's say the command summary whatever we have given in this router or those routers so just give the enable and show IP interface brief for giving or getting the brief overview of the attached interfaces with this router. So we have this router and this fast ethernet which is up and for showing the ARP tables just give the show ARP and if you don't have the ARP entries so you need to ping this is important and uh, Suppose we have the ARP entries and we want to delete these entries, so we can do so by giving a command clear ARP. So it clears the ARP table for that router only and will not affect to another routers. So just give the clear ARP command and now how about if we down this link fast ethernet 0 slash 0. Let's try it. configure terminal interface first ethernet 0 slash 0 then get this shutdown so obviously when we give the shutdown command for this interface it will not ping to each other because the link is down then show the arc because there is no link between this cable so there is no ARP table now enable it again by giving the no shutdown now let's look the changes show ARP for now it's showing only the its interface which is connected with this now for the new entry for this router we need to give this ping test again 100.2 and during the first ping test the first packet was lost because of R so this is why the first packet always loses and success rate is just about the 80% just because of R because this PC or the, this router know only the IP address of their adjacent router 
or the network device but they did not know about the network interface for the connectivity or the transmission of data so that's why the ARP is needed in order to making the data transmission so if you ping again so it will must be 100% ping 192, 168, 100.2 now let's enter again now it should be 100% of success rate so in the last experiment it was the 80% now for this it is 100% so this was all about the ARP and ARP table in router we have learned about the how to get the ARP entries and uh, how ping works actually and plays a vital role for making an ARP and how broadcast ARP to another router or another interface of network devices and it gets back to the hardware trace to the ARP table and we have learned about the clearing the MAC entries or the ARP entries by using the clear ARP and we have learned about also the if we just administratively down the port that means disable the port in simple words so it just clears all the ARP entries for that interface and we need to do it again the ping for each devices for getting the ARP table again so I hope you understand about the ARP and ARP entries table etc so I hope you enjoyed this video also guys so if you have any question or doubts regarding this video so you can write down the below of the comment box I'll try to resolve as soon as possible as I can and if you need this lab file so just check out the below description link you can download this packet file also so thanks for watching this video guys and you guys see you on the next video